Hello, I'm Li Hao from Shiny 3D. For some applications, like gaming or online museums, people are seeking higher model texture resolution instead of triangle numbers. Meanwhile, scanners can only provide limited texture quality. We are developing better hardware for texture quality, but at the same time, we want to provide you with another solution. Here, we present you Texture Mapper Lite, a software that helps you wrap high detail pictures from a professional camera to our scan model. The first thing you need is the scan data, but there are some rules to follow. First, the object should be scanned with texture and saved as an OBJ model. Secondly, if you scan with multiple projects, make sure the environment's light condition never changes and no white balance was done in between. Also, we recommend fully enclosing the model with watertight mesh or filling holes in the post process. Do not align, flip, or mirror the data after mesh. Any operation which will change the data position will cause mapping failure. And last, we recommend cleaning the floating unwanted data in post process. To achieve good texture quality, there are also requests for mapping pictures. First of all, the current version only supports JPG format pictures as input, and picture number should be between 3 to 400. All pictures needed to be generated by the camera directly without post editing. Similar to professional picture shooting, we recommend white soft light and avoid direct sunlight for the shooting environment. Do not put too many things in the background since it may affect the main object recognition. All pictures for the same mapping project need to have the same parameters. This means the same ISO, shutter speed, focus, aperture, and picture direction as well. Thus, you need to use cameras that support fully manual mode and not touch focus during shooting. Also, keep in mind that due to fixed focus distance, you should keep the same distance during shooting to achieve clear pictures. For very small or less colorful objects, it might be easier to put a printed colorful sheet underneath to help align during both scan and picture taking. Meanwhile, the target object should be in the middle of the pictures and big enough to be recognized as the main object. Take pictures continuously at multiple angles. Make sure that at least 30% overlay between each picture. Now the scan data and pictures are prepared, the next step will be easy software operation. We recommend using the same PC for scanning to run the texture mapper light. Here, in the important screen, we need to locate three things. Scan project data, the OBJ file, and all high resolution pictures. Note that if there are any pictures which have different perimeters as the majority, the software will mark them automatically and you can confirm to delete. After that, just one click and the software will do the mapping automatically. In case of repeating color patterns or other arrows, there may be mapping failure for some pictures. We can also manually remap them. Similar to data alignment, select at least four matching points on both model and picture to align the texture. You can see where the picture is mapped in the window below. When you're satisfied with the result, finish the process to check the final model. 
you can tell that the remap data has noticeably better texture quality. The final data now can be output as an OBJ file.